In this video, I am going to share four things regarding electrical safety for you and your equipment in your home. Number one, the proper use of mobile phone charger. Nowadays, all of them using mobile phone and most of them using laptop. So everyone is going to charge your device every day. Let me see the way of your charging is correct or not. Normally, we connect our mobile or laptop with charger and then we connect this charger with power. When we do like this, whenever you switch on the charger, the starting impulse output current is created on the charger that will affect the device battery and charging system. This also can be say switching effect. Then what is the correct method of charging? Come on, let me see. The correct method is first you have to connect the charger with power and switch on the charger. Then the output of the charger has to connect with the device. So your device avoids charging impulse and get more life. Number two, reduce the use of inverter. Try to use all your equipment in EB power supply and reduce the use of inverter power. The reason is in inverter, we will not get sinusoidal waveform and also it contain harmonic on it. The reason is in inverter, non-sinusoidal waveform produce, it have square waveform. At the edge of the square waveform, it will have spike and more harmonic in the circuit. Since the harmonic and spike contain in the waveform, it will affect the motor coil. If the filter circuit in the inverter become faulty, then you will get more spike pulse at the edge of the step. It will affect the equipment very badly. And also, if you buy the inverter at low rate, the power regulation problem may come because of peak voltage vary from the voltage of the battery. And also, the power loss is about 20% of power is wasted in conversion of DC to AC from the battery in the inverter. If you found some symptom when you use inverter, then you have to change inverter very quickly. Your fan and fluorescent light make noise when you used with inverter power and also your fan get repair often. These are the symptom you have to replace your inverter quickly. This all can be reduced by using a pure sinusoidal wave inverter. But it is a quite expensive, but it will contain less harmonic and spike on it and it will give a good efficiency. Number 3. Switch off your motor and heavy kilowatt equipment in your home whenever there is a power cut. When your home get power cut, keep in your mind after power cut, please switch off if any motor, washing machine, heater or any heavy power equipment. If not, let's see what happened. If you are not switch off the device, then the same things happen in all your neighbor home nearby you. Then once your area get power on, suddenly all your home device is going to on at the same time. So the power demand rise to very high level. This sudden power rise will make oscillation on power system, which cause oscillation on a voltage and make dip on voltage, makes under voltage and rise on voltage will cause over voltage. This transient voltage occurs for few seconds. This causes the damage of the equipment slightly. Even sometimes bulb will blow and small machine get failures. Number four, earthing. It is very important. The earthing system will protect you from electrical shock. When any of your equipment get faulty or leakage current, then this current will carry out by earth system. If you have a good earthing system in your home because the current always choose a low resistant path to flow. Let me see with a simple example. A man is going to start a motor. Let me consider the motor as a small insulation fault, but the motor body as a good earthing. After starting the motor, the insulation fault on the motor will cause a fault current, but the fault current will choose always a earth wire to flow rather than your body since the earth wire is a good conductor then the man is protected from the fault current by the earthing system in other case if same thing happen but the motor does not have a body earthing then the fault current have only one option to flow in your body and you will get a shock next if you touch a neutral it will not affect you if you have a good earthing system but if you touch the face directly, you will get a heavy shock even though you have a good earthing system. So do not touch the face wire at any cost. Even though you have a good earthing system, always use dry hand to switch on the power because when you are using wet hand, it will make your resistance low. And if any fault, it will share with you along with the earthing system. 
so you will get a little shock always use safety shoes or at least wear rubber chappal if you want to inspect any live electrical equipment or to check power supply pour water on a earthing pipe in your home to have a good soil contact resistant it will help you to have a good earthing system for your home i think this video will be little useful to you thank you for watching this video